good afternoon everyone good morning good evening uh, we start broadcast for the Pisces solar festival webinar webinar of 2025 initiative preparing the way my name is Alexander Ilchuk and uh, we'll have a short alignment before we'll start our work today Let's align within ourselves. Hmm? Connecting with the soul. Hello, hello. We visualize people from around the world joining this webinar connecting in a circle, coming together from different parts of the world. We visualize our group centers. As a beam of bright light. And we open our group consciousness to the work to be done today. Thank you, everyone. Welcome again. This is 2025 initiative. And um, today we have a guest from Russia, Sergei Smirnov, and um, uh, me, Alexander Ilchuk, and uh, Katya Kaufman. We will lead this webinar. And uh, now I give the microphone to Katya to introduce Sergei. Uh, Sergei has already participated in uh, many webinars, so I'm sure um, some of you know him and have heard about him. But for those who haven't, Sergei lives in Russia. He is a psychologist. He was working for many years with um, Asia's wisdom teachings especially with Alice Bailey work. He um, helped to form a lot of groups that working within that teaching. He was doing a lot of psychological work and um, through that work um, he came up with a lot of methods which are based and derived from um, the teachings, but are essentially practical. So that's why we are asking him today to share that experience and those methods with us. So Sergei, are you here? Okay. I know that uh, Sergei, I know that you're traveling right now. So the question is, where are you? And could you tell us a couple words about your present location and this, 
what's going on, what could you share? Um, I'm now I'm now on the shore of Lake in Galileo in Israel uh, in Tiberia near the ancient city Capernaum where Christ got his first disciples and began his service. This is extremely pleasant place. We were there now uh, today and meditate <coughs> on the shore of this lake in Capernaum. In Capernaum and uh, in the place where the spine were drowned. So we <coughs> and we were in the place where uh, was mm, uh, baptizing of disciples and other people. So this is one of the most well-known place in the world. Uh, the Christ, mm, Christ's name and Christ's work is the most uh, of, of most important, <laughs> except of course Jerusalem. So the note of Israel, the <clears throat> note of work of Christ. Yes, we are now in Jerusalem, or we are now in Israel, in uh, near the places where Christ worked. Mm -hmm. Now that brings me uh, to the to the actual subject of today's conversation, because if we look at the work of Christ, you know, um, and the work of the hierarchy, it yeah, is happening in a certain way. Well, and we see it, we know that as cycles of work, and I know that you and your group is working for a long time with those cycles. So, could you please tell us how do you do that? Why do you see that's important? Um, it is extremely important if we uh, join the work of our masters, which together, together every nine years in full moon time to advance their work which uh, is connected with the heads of hierarchy who works under the impression of more higher forces and norms. So if we join these, these uh, sake, we can see much more far than we see usually. They, for them, nine years is one moment. For us, it's a great period of time. So if we join them in meditative work during full moon time, we can see what will be and what they are planning in, for example, not only on this year, but, but, uh, the years after, so for example, if you are meditating, what will be, just imagine, it is Aries now. So we are meditating 2015, what will be, 2016, 2017, and up to 2023. When you can turn and look from the position of 2023 on you yourself, standing in 2014, you will see how, what, uh, then you step down 2025, 2021, 
2020, and so on. And you are coming to your place where you are in 2014. This is a very important work. Let the future stand revealed. This is our pray for uh, to be in line with the work of our masters. And if we are going there and back, for example, uh, I want to know what will be my first array work in 2015, 2016, or my work in the line of ray 2, the ray of love. So, so I will know what will be, what will be. Mm -hmm. Will be happening, yes. Yes, yes. And this is, uh, sh helps me to understand how much I can do. For example, I can ask a question, uh, what mistake I'm going to make? I will have the answer. If I, I will ask uh, intuitively, I have the answer. So at that time, I will see much far than I see in usual meditation in full moon and much far even I can't even uh, compare then I can meditate in usual meditation in ordinary day mm -hmm. Siryush, uh, what is uh, so special about this year of 2014 why is this uh, the significance of this we have a quote that I can show that uh, when Tibetan talks about this, so maybe you could elaborate on what does it uh, Tibetan master meant in this quote. It shows on the screen here. When we talk about the plan, we should remember that this plan can only be sensed, visioned, and known in truth by the hierarchy and then only in group formation and by those masters who can function in full monadic consciousness. They alone are beginning to comprehend what it is. Suffice it for the rest of those in hierarchy, the initiates and disciples in their ordered ranks and various gradings to cooperate with that immediate aspect of the plan which they can grasp and which comes down to them through the inspired minds of their directors at certain stated times and in certain specific years. Such a year was 1933, such another will be the year 1942. At those times when hierarchy meets in silent conclave a part of God's vision and his formulation of that vision for the immediate presence, present is revealed for the next nine year cycle. Then they then in perfect freedom and with full mutual cooperation lay their plans to bring about the desired objectives of the heads of the hierarchy as they in their turn cooperate with still higher forces and knowers. Esoteric Psychology, Volume 2, page 241-242. So what does this mean? What is the significance for us in this piece of information? Pretty arcane the information. Only, the only time when we can connect with our masters when they are making plans. So if we will miss this time, we will not be able till next uh, nine year date in 2023 to contact with our masters and uh, suggest our efforts. To align it with theirs, right? Yes, yes. Uh, in the line with them, but uh, uh, Regina, переведи, пожалуйста. Regina. Okay. 
Yes, 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 I'm here. Can you hear me? Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. uh, если, мы, если мы упустим это время, то следующая возможность такая будет только через, через 9 лет. If we miss out on this time, our next opportunity to connect with the hierarchy during the time of the conclave will be in the next nine years, in uh, 2023. When we participate in this effort now, we offer our service for the next nine years, so the hierarchy uh, takes us into consideration and gives us can give us work to do for the next nine years. Поэтому это чрезвычайно важное время, чтобы наш, учитывало наше участие в работе и наши возможности. Therefore, it's immensely important for us to participate and meditate in this time so that hierarchy could count on us in their work. Кроме того, мы можем точно знать, сколько реально мы можем сделать, а что мы сделать не можем. То есть мы будем точно знать, в каких пределах лежат наши возможности. Moreover, by meditating now, we can fine-tune into how much we can do and what we should do and uh, what our abilities are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, so uh, there are two questions that come to mind. First of all, is it a specific time during this year or is it like when actually do you meditate? Um, we meditate every five days of full moon in every sign, but mostly in Aries, Taurus, and Gemini, because in these most important, these are the most important uh, time to work for us, because these festivals are the main in the group of 12 festivals. So, <clears throat> any specific relations between them? Okay. Go ahead, Siraj. Uh, <clears throat> uh, I want to say that we we are working very hard in this uh, year. We use about um, usually 12 hours a day for meditation work every day, every uh, every full moon, because. We understand if we miss this possibility, we we cannot uh, uh, we cannot postpone it. Replenish. We, 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 we can't, can't regain this in the future because this is the most important time for uh, disciples to serve. So it is each full moon, and is there any specific relations between your meditation and the qualities of the sign you're meditating in? Yes, of course. If we meditate, for example, uh, in Taurus, the most important sign, uh, we are meditating about education in every area of human knowledge. We are meditating about uh, our education as disciples, trying to get a revelation. We are meditating about everything which is connected with love and with uh, will. Education and will. Because it's uh, from point of view of Taurus, it's revelation. And from point of view of uh, hierarchy, Shambhala, humanity, is festival of Shambhala. So we are uh, working with all what is connected with the first ray. Hello? Mm -hmm. So it's related to the ray of the sign? Yes. 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 The uh, ray of the sign, uh, the qualities of the sign. Yes. But this there year, is, I know that the... Mm -hmm. 
They read uh, Ellis Bailey book such as uh, esoteric astrology, and we are working in the line of the possibilities which this science gives us. Thank you. Um, so, what was your practical experience? I know that it's this, um, the fourth time you will be meditating in such a way. Mm, it's the results of. Mm -hmm. I just understand. Uh, when you are traveling from from 2014 till 2023, you will know these years very well. You will know the kind, how your country will react on the revelation which will come from uh, higher sources. You will know what will be with the world. So you, we are meditating uh, what will happen to our group, meditating about what happened to our country, we are meditating in different areas, for example, for every of ten esoteric groups about which uh, John Kuhn wrote in uh, Esoteric uh, Discipleship. So, <coughs> this helps us, uh, this helps us a lot because it gives us understanding of the accents which we should make in our fight we, if we, we would have work on our road, we didn't know if we are working right or not. So this uh, joined work help us to understand if we are in line with hierarchy or not. Mm -hmm. uh, Sirius, uh, we uh -huh. just came through another cycle and uh, big effort that we made as a group uh, in at the end of 2012 when there was a festival week of the new group of old servers and that is the seven year cycle. Now we come into the culminating point of the nine year cycle. Can you explain nine year more, cycle uh, about is the all cycle the cycles? Of Nine year cycle is the cycle of conscience. Seven year cycle. Seven is the figure, is uh, number of the matter. So, uh, seven year cycle connected with in uh, in uh, uh, in usual life in. Uh, and uh, this uh, nine-year cycle connected more with conscience work. We work with conscious. Of course, we use then these practical uh, achievements in our daily life. But uh, nine-year cycle is connected with uh, nine-year, in the figure nine, connected with development of conscious. At the moment, you can see on the, your screen the chart for uh, the mm -hmm. cycles. And so, Siriosh, can you put it in the context? Why is it important for us to know the cycles and war and use the opportunity of this cycle, especially uh, preparing see, for 2025? Yes, 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 of course. Uh, uh, when cycle we are working with open for example uh, in 2000 in the year 2000 we we trained all 1999 mm, all, uh, all disciples of in, in my group worked hard preparing to the 2000 year to understand what will be from 2000 till 2025. And we spent a lot of time, we worked sometimes 14 hours a day, each full moon, to go there and back, there and back, to year 25 and 
back to understand what will be at what will uh, what will what difficulties we will have in the work. We traveled there and back in the first ray, seventh, second ray, third ray, and we understood that the most difficulties we will have in the sixth ray work. And um, when we travel, uh, for example, we knew before that in uh, 2008 there will be a big crisis which will uh, go, which will in 2011. And uh, we prepared people and who are around and uh, our friends and everybody that there will be a big, big crisis. We we were not prepared uh, in 2000, in the year 2000, what it will be, but we knew that it will happen. So it although you didn't know the details, they didn't yes. have a, like direct knowledge of details, there was a clear impression that those years would be um, hard and will yes. require extra energy. Yes. And, and preparation. The, yes. In the year 2005, in the year 2005, we stored much energy in 2011, and we planned not so much, but because we knew that there would be very difficult испытания. Uh, to the difficult challenges, and we should uh, first to answer these challenges, and then to do our own plans. So this will be uh, that this would have been uh, years where difficulties overcome would our overcome our possibilities, so we should... So it would be greater than our possibilities. Mm -hmm. Yes, to react and not to... Ну, то есть мы готовились для того, чтобы в эти годы больше отвечать на ситуацию, чем вести свою собственную работу. Но так оно и случилось. Один. So, we, can you hear me? Basically... <coughs> We were. Okay. Go ahead again. Mm -hmm. So we were getting ready to react more to the situations which will arise in those years, 2009 to 2011, for rather than do active work, we were um, planning to be responsive, and we stored up energy for that through our meditation at the beginning of the cycle. So the whole process it reminds me of starting a map before the journey. Yes, yes, you're totally right. You're totally and right. And so, yeah. sometimes for example, it's... Mm -hmm. For example, uh, the disciples of the uh, second, of the sixth ray were, uh, were предупреждены, were warned that they, they would have much more difficulty than disciples of other race, for example. Mm -hmm. Sirius, looking yes. at this diagram, what can you tell us uh, about the work that it awaits for us in, within the next 12 years? This year, uh, 2014, 2019, 2023, 2025. What are in those years? Yes, I understand. In 2019, we will have the last week, festival week of New Group of World Service, which, uh, pre which will be before 2025. So in this week, we should work the, uh, trying to Uh 
hierarchy breaking up. Workers, <laughs> uh, hierarchy workers and uh, all the humanity will be for work for 100 years ahead. If we will make this way, the the fate of humanity will be much more happier than if we did not work, if we do not work at that time, if we will not work at that time. Uh, Sirius, so I, 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 I'm, so, I'm, I'm sorry, Sirius. There is a problem with the sound, and I feel that it's a very important information. So maybe you could repeat that in Russian, and Regina will translate that. I think it would be better Russia. quality. Regina, are you ready? В 2019 году будет последняя неделя новой группы мировых служителей в декабре 21-28, когда мы можем подготовиться к 20 мероприятий. 2019, during the week of the festival week of the new group of world servers uh, on December 21 to 28, we will have uh, the final opportunity to prepare for the year 2025, and this is going to be a unique opportunity that is not to be missed. Sergey, you can continue. Yes, and uh, the same uh, in 2023, we will, there will be only two years to 2025, and we will see what we can do uh, for in this pre preparation. So, how to for this date? The next such date will be in 2000. 125 so it's too far so these two uh, these three years 2014 2019 and 2023 are uh, years where we can do a lot in preparation uh, to the 100 year festival of Harki and Shambhala. Mm -hmm. Yes, T time to work ahead of us. And um, I know that um, your group also, not only your group, that groups that are working in the like, former Soviet Union space, you are using the technique of group centers. We spoke about it some time ago, but I feel it is so important that I would ask you to repeat once again, how do you use group centers in this work? Because it's mind is... Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Yes, yes, Katya. Yes, this is the most important technique which John Kuhn gave us in his uh, book, one of his books. It is on the screen now. The quote is in the, on the screen. Yes. The, uh, discipleship, discipleship, the subsequent relation of the centers in any one individual to be reminded of the group members regarding the centers as radiating transmitters of energy to the centers of the other group members. This will result in the forming of seven great centers of energy, which will constitute the group centers, fed and enlightened by the energy transmitted by each individual. We are using this uh, technique more than 15 years, and um, it helps because if you are talking if you are talking through group centers with other uh, disciples of your group, we never quarrel because uh, angels of these 
centers transmit energy to disciples. And uh, after this, the heart center gives this energy to other centers of his etheric, astral, and mental body. This helps us to avoid difficulties in uh, trying to understand each other because angel of centers help us a lot. Uh, do you understand me? Yes. 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 And what about this uh, uh, the, mm -hmm. the technique of working with the group centers of the new group of world servers? Can you explain about um, this? Please? The same. The same happens if we just imagine that there are, for example, hundred groups which uh, connect, which can connect their individual centers with group centers. But if we connect all these group centers with centers of new group servers, we will have these seven greatest volumes of energy, greatest volumes of energy, which can, which we can share our experience and from which we can get inspiration for our work. And these centers will uh, control and um, organize our work whenever we are. So if I am somewhere in the mountains and I'm connecting with m m my centers, with the centers of my group, and visualize how they are connected with the groups the centers of new group of world servers. So I can work as if I am in the presence of all, all the members of new group. And I never feel myself alone and uh, that my work is fruitless and futile. Mm -hmm. I uh, thank you so, very much. And um, the, the other possibility, if we are connecting the centers of new group of world service with the centers of humanity, we are advancing humanity through this visualization. This we are doing uh, in these days uh, of the 14th year in, in uh, full moon days to help somehow to foresee what will be in the future nine years because many of people, many people have uh, intuitional revelation centers of new group of world service with the centers of humanity much more people can see what, what will happen so the future will stand revealed. I just um, have one question. All those beautiful ideas, plans, possibilities, opportunities, how do we bring them into the matter of our everyday life? Like, see, is there any specific meditative effort on channeling these opportunities and pre yes. into, okay. yes. Yes, yes, you understand. Uh, we are making storages for each energy, for energy of areas, mental storages, like barrels. I, I visualize this energy like barrels. And I mark them, for example, areas of uh, 2000, uh, Taurus 2000, uh, Gemini 2000. And I can use this energy in any for example, if I'm working with uh, a class or with a class of in school, I use energy of Gemini and uh, to have good relation and the energy of Taurus to enlighten them. So I'm just explaining, but I'm projecting these two energies into the class, into the group centers of the class. And this helps me a lot not to overstrain myself in, 
in my so if we you use these energies in everyday life we we are much more successful than if we do not use them thank you sergey it's yes, uh, so basically time, time those now. energies become accessible time yeah, it's time okay. for to open for the questions from the audience. Uh, Go ahead, Sasha. Mm -hmm. uh, so, if anyone has any questions, you can raise your hand. There is a uh, button on your uh, control panel. Raise your uh, hand, and we will unmute you. For technical reason, everyone is muted that we would avoid sound reverberations. Uh, but please bring your questions, and also you can ask your questions through the uh, uh, chat window. Uh, or questions window so you can type your question and we will read it but of course it's better to hear your voice and uh, as your contribution to this circle into the group work i i think i've interrupted something uh, did, did you finish sergey talking what you were saying before yes yes i do mm -hmm. there is a first question that came from uh, as Richardson, um, could you please elaborate more on how an individual can use the energy of the centers into any group they are affiliated with? Thank you. So, to, to, the question is how to, more specifically how to use. Alone. Mm -hmm. Uh, through visualization, the, uh, John Kuhn wrote in his book uh, Arrays and Initiations that the most important meditation in the future will be visualization. If you visualize connecting your centers with the centers of your group, or if you have no group and you are working alone with the centers of new group of world servers, you will immediately feel how, how potential of new group of service work. So if I'm connecting my if I have my own group, I will connect my personal centers with uh, visualizing, I don't know, visualized centers of visualizing. my group, mm -hmm. visualizing centers of my group, and then I'm connecting them with the centers of, uh, vi visually, with the centers of new group of world servers, it's enough. Angels of these centers will immediately understand what you are intend to do. They are waiting for our, for our asking them to work because only through service to people, they can move to the heart, to the, uh, heart center of, of the sun. Heart of the sun. Heart of the sun. To the heart of the sun. Heart of the sun. So, so it's the process of their evolution. Yeah. Yes. If we are asking them to help and we, we are visualizing the, the connections, they immediately using our possibility of uh, visualizing and measuring how we good in visualizing. In the same manner, they are transmitting this energy. The better we are visualizing, the more energy they can transmit. So when you talk about the strong visualization, strong the the strength of visualization, yeah. and no, what no, does I mean, it depend upon? Yeah, like on train, how on train, you build the strength of your visualization. Just the, you are closing your eyes. Uh, you feel your your own centers. For disciples, it's usual. If you don't feel you should visualize your own centers and connect them 
uh, visualize before you seven seven points of light and there is a little point between third and fourth uh, centers between Manipura and Anahata because there is a little point that the, the Manipura center is twin center mm -hmm. uh, double center solar plexus so mm -hmm. you were visualizing seven light centers or if you are powerful visualizer so you can visualize centers for example uh, Muadhara center is four petal lotus with orange petals you can read mm -hmm. about this in uh, the book um, Esoteric Healing somewhere in the hundred hundred twenty page and uh, there are colors uh, petals and construction of these centers Isha? yes there is another question mm. Uh, just a second. It's a question uh, from the Diana Adams. What impact does the 5 o'clock link-up have on the 2025 initiative? Is this energy being used effectively on a worldwide basis? So this is the question about the everyday link with the new group of old servers that happens at the 5 o'clock for those who oh, are oh, of course, of course, of course. If you use 5... five uh, 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 five five o'clock mantra. Five o'clock mantra, and visualize how your centers connecting are connected with the centers of new group of world service. This strength strengthens uh, strengthens <coughs> very much your work. It очень сильно увеличивает мощность вашей работы, Сергей. It increases the potency of your work tremendously. To go very good. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. Well, sure. There is uh, a raised question from Chris, Christine. Uh, so I will unmute Christine. Uh, Christine, you muted yourself. So please unmute yourself. Yes. Uh, hello. Hi. Uh, yes, um, I am much familiar with uh, ancient wisdom and the work of Alice Bailey and healing. I now have access to most of her books. Um, initially, I am thinking when you mentioned the seven centers that you are talking of the chakras, I am aware that each center is related to a planet um, and when I think of using uh, Gemini for better communication um, would you clarify which center that is hello <laughs> Gemini, Gemini is connected with three planets, Earth, Mercury, and Venus. And What's the first They are... What was the first one? Mercury? I'm sorry. Earth, um, Mercury, Venus, and Earth. So oh. the fifth, the fourth ray, fifth ray, and third ray. So uh, you can uh, visualize how your centers are connected. Your throat center, yes. Your uh, Ajna center, yes. And, uh, there are no special uh, center in etheric body, but in astral body, it's or your Madhara center or your Ajna center. In so, the astral body, uh, it. Is the Ajna and what the other one? Base. Uh, uh, base. So, the earth. Correct. 
base center. Yeah, base, which would be number one, chakra. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Okay. So uh, every 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 sign yeah, has, science has a uh, planet. Yes. And uh, you can uh, connect uh, your centers uh, with this, uh, but uh, you should use or astro enumeration or etheric enumeration. It depends on what work you are going to do. Determined by what? Because, uh, because uh, centers uh, and the rays are different, different in astral body and in etheric body. Okay, I'll check that. Yes, I, I, I have you know I have a, a working knowledge of the rays as well. Um, in one reference you made to DK's work, I'm familiar with in a book two. What is that? It's uh, Discipleship in New Age, Volume 2. Volume 2. I, I'm discipleship not... in a New Age, uh, oh, page, this... uh, so volume, volume 2, page 18. Okay, Discipleship. Thank you. Okay. okay. Thank you, Christine. How do I say <laughs> Say it again, sorry. Close this call. Uh, so it's, uh, you this. can disconnect any moment and it will be uh, disconnected by the organizers at the end. Uh, so there is another question uh, coming from uh, Monica Bebel. Is it necessary for the individual to Probably reach the state of group consciousness? Sorry, Kat, I'm reading the question. One more time. Is it necessary for the individual to reach the state of group consciousness to participate in such work, even if the, the, the individual does not know to which inner group belongs? Um, yes, yes. Through such work, you will achieve group consciousness. When you are connecting uh, your centers with the centers on your group of servers, or if you are connecting just the, the centers of your ashram, uh, you will understand what ashram you belong to, and uh, the work with new group of uh, servers will help you to achieve group consciousness. If you work with these uh, centers, in uh, 14, 2014th year. Mm -hmm. yes, Sirius, I, I have a question. Um, can you say a bit more about the significance of the year 2025? How do you see what about that and what is the work of preparation should be for all of us? Uh, this year, this year, will be a tremendous inflow of Shambhala energy and the energy of hierarchy who will join their joint work uh, as we will work under the influence of our masters. In 2025, we will work under the influence of Shambhala masters, such as liberty, freedom, equality, Reinstra and brotherhood, and others. So they will give us possibility to see as Shambhala sees the future. This happened in, in a century, in 2025. So this can be, cannot be. So if we will join their effort 
and we will make the tea of our community as rep community. We will have help the disciples which will come after us greatly because we will make the enlightened way up and uh, if we will miss such opportunity the next such opportunity will be only in 2125 so this is the most enlightened period of time in our life because the most we cannot imagine the more powerful impact which will be done on the work of new group of world servers and our personal work. So we should prepare five years from uh, 2020 till 2025 uh, preparing for this work and trying to make it as well known as we can. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, there is raised hand from Martin. Martin Buick. Martin. Hi, Martin. Martin, can you? Uh, can... Hello, Martin. Yes. Yeah. Hi. Uh, thank you, uh, Sergey. Um, I just wanted. To... Can you hear me? No, no, it's very, very, f uh, very faintly. Can... Hello. If yes. you could do a little louder. Okay. All right. Um, I wanted to speak about the hundred year cycles, and that's how Shambhala comes in on 2025, because on the chart you see that the hundred year cycle that began a hundred years earlier culminates in 2025. That's the Shambhala energy culmination point. So I thank Sergey for adding that piece of information. I also appreciate what he said about angles of the centers angles of the group because I begin to see that it's a living relationship with energy and the angels and as you say they are waiting to cooperate with us so we become more conscious of the fact that it's not a theory that there's, there's an angel or there's a cycle but that all of these are qualities building towards this point of 2025 which is the touch point for Shambhala's culmination of the hundred year cycle. Um, well, thank you, Martin. Because, um, the, the thing, Martin, that Sergei could not hear you. So if you don't mind, in just a brief couple sentences, we'll quickly translate. <laughs> You know what you've said, but I really appreciate your comment. You're going to do it, or uh, I want to repeat myself. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why it was bad connection there. We will do it. Okay, go ahead. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Сережа, он поблагодарил тебя быстро за то, что ты упомянул столетний цикл, что действительно это энергия Шамбалы, и он поблагодарил тебя за то, что ты придал значение реальность таким явлением как ангел и как центр потому что и, и энергия, потому что для этого это выглядит как абстракция, но то, что ты сказал о работе с групповым центром, придает этому конкретность и возможность работать с этим. То есть это благодарно. Ну, это, это. Угу. это Мартин, мы работали вместе в Лайбридже. Хорошо, хорошо. There is a very good question about the centers coming from Lean. Uh, it's, uh, I, if I'm not mistaken, somewhere in the race and initiations, the case says that the use of center to work stems from earlier an individual preparation for initiations and should not be used today uh, by the, the disciples. So the question, if uh, if the warning that the cave gave us about that we shouldn't work with the uh, centers in our body relates to this technique of using with the group centers, Sirius. 
That's how I understand the question. Uh, you know, you know, when we are, yes, understand that uh, times change. Uh, we can't hear you, Sirius. I think we lost him. Since they're traveling in Israel, it's um, some sometimes the connection is not there. Can can you hear me? Не слышно, Катя? Нет, тебя не было слышно. Повтори, пожалуйста. Тебя тебя не было слышно. Повтори, пожалуйста, с самого начала. Hello. Алло. Катюш, меня слышно? Да. Да. Сидь. Uh, uh, о чем мы? О чем мы говорили? О центрах. А, ah, тайм. О центрах. Yes. Что он наложил запрет yes. на работу с индивидуальными центрами, как это отражается на групповых? То есть как это сменяется? Yes. We now can... Не слышно. And the problem or situation with the centers of of new problem just centers. Is it clear? Not не было опять и ввяз звук еще раз. Катюш, переключи переключись на Сергея, можно? Алло. Катюш. Меня слышно? Сейчас, да. Итак. Using angels of centers of group centers. First, and then we centers much more free, and this uh, ban which Jean Cou laid on this work earlier is now not so strict as. Is not so severe as it was in the times of uh, Ellis Bailey. Я понятно сказал? Да. I suggest, uh, Lin, if there is a still misunderstanding, maybe we can write to you and you know, specific, because the, you see, we touch the subject and this the connection is not so great. I can add from, uh, from my experience. I can add from my experience that it's uh, when we work with the technique of group centers, we're not really working with the etheric energy of our own centers. We mo work more with visualization and the technique as if visualizing the group centers and visualizing the group centers of the new group. Even in that specific mm -hmm. quote that we were showing on the screen, the case specifically say. says that we are projecting our centers there. But that technique, that quote, is given in the personal instructions to the, his disciples, uh, to, to his group. It's uh, page 18, uh, Dina 2. Yes, Sirius. No, uh, in my work, Среди сотен учеников не было ни единого случая, чтобы кто-то пострадал. Так что работать можно. Группы-центры. 
Сори, с Михаил. Вопрос был про то, что не использовать центры внутри тела, по-моему. Что Жалкул предупреждал, что нужно использовать за пределами физического тела. Да, конечно. Вот они про это хотели услышать. Uh, there is a uh, the question, and I think we're running out of time, so it will take it as a last question. Uh, it's coming from uh, Mary O'Reilly. Uh, Sergey, can you speak a little of working with children? And I think and uh, I didn't finish the question, but that's all that use, came through Mary. So use, work with children. We use centers of children. We use, uh, when we are meditating in these years, 2005, 2014, 1996, 1987, we always meditate with children because when you will see your child nine year older, you will understand what happened to him. You will never see him statically. Because most of the parents see people statically. He is five and so they visualize him five year old, as if he will be five year old all his life. But when you are meditating from his five till his fourteen, you immediately understand that uh, he will change. And you are changing his age to thousand uh, for example he's five year old now. Thousand 15, he will be 6, 2016, he will be 7, and so on and so on. So you will see him changing, and this helps him a lot. And if you will meditate his future using these energies, he, his future choose this to be much more enlightened if you than if you didn't, if you don't. Меня слышно? Да. If you want. Короче, то есть if you want, yes, if you want. No, not. Короче, работа с детьми и с этими энергиями – это одно из самых больших наград, которые у нас есть вообще. Регин. So the work with children and with these energies is one of the biggest rewards we have. Yes, it, it does expand the understanding of the children as human being evolving and um, the ability to hold that expanded vision. I mean, in my personal life it's related to my daughter and her friends and other children that are connected in this little group, it, it is rewarding and it is also, dis <laughs> it disciplines, I feel it disciplines because then you understand that you... Надо... Катюш, mm -hmm. Катюш, скажи еще, что нужно работать еще и с окружением, иначе останутся одни. Yes, and Я Сергей is also saying that that um, we need also to work not only with our children but with the children that are around them. Otherwise, it's just like in a spiritual life, it's good to have a group that's evolving and developing together with you. Otherwise, your children might become, you know, lonely on their path. I mean, of course, eventually they'll meet someone somewhere, but it, it is very good to have a group of children working through those processes together and building up this group relation and group consciousness you know from the very beginning that is my understanding and that's what Sergey asked me to mention is that is that what you meant Sergey yes you're right mm -hmm. so uh, I suggest we now move forward going into the full moon meditation and uh, as we in Pisces, so uh, suggest, uh, uh, Sirius, can you please tell us about the meditation work that we will be doing? And uh, now uh, uh, on the screen, you see the picture of the mountain Tabor 
it's the Transfiguration Mountain in Israel. So it's, I think, it yes. a good it's picture a mountain, for our meditation. For favor, favor mountain. We don't go tomorrow to there. So the microphone is yours, Sirius, please. Um, Pisces give us two possibilities to eliminate all what uh, what uh, us, what holds us in the past and destroys all the obstacles of the, uh, what deters the conscience and uh, the second it uh, helps us uh, to meditate much more deep than uh, in uh, usual situation so this is cleaning uh, sign and uh, when we will meditate now we can clean our path, our life, our future from all what we do not need. Pisces uh, is the light of life which will cope with the darkness of the matter totally. So, uh, Visualize your centers and connect them with the centers of new group of world servers. Do you hear me? Hello. Yes, yes, we hear you. We hear you well. Меня слышно, Катя? Тебя Алло. слышно хорошо. Тебя слышно хорошо. Алло, ты меня слышно. слышишь? Да. Да. Тебя слышно. Слышно. Хорошо. So we connecting our centers with the centers of new group of our service. Visualizing the energy of Pisces as a golden rain which goes through us, through our path, through our connection, through our service, through all our life. Now, projecting this Pisces energy through humanity and its 
ways to clean it from jealousy, aggressiveness, competing, envy, greedness. Now we can visualize the path of new group of world servers from 2014, Pisces, Pisces 2014, to Pisces 2015. This is like a road. Under the road, the dark karma over the road the light of the soul of new group of world servers and this golden rain of Pisces goes through our soul usual day and karma and make it more and more enlightened karma becomes more light the day more bright and the soul more enlightened Now we can read the great invocation in its usual pronouncing from the point of light 
within the mind of God. Let light stream forth into the minds of men. Let light descend on earth. From the within the heart of God, let love stream forth in the hearts of men. May Christ return to earth. From the center of where the will of God is known, let purpose of men, the purpose which your masters know and serve. From the center which we call the race of men, let the plan of love and light work out and may it seal the door where evil dwells. Let light and love and power restore the plan on earth. That's it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sirija. Thank you for possibility to serve. Oh, um, mm -hmm. So the exact time of the full moon uh, will be tomorrow, 1.08 of Eastern Daylight Saving Time. I don't have information handy what it would be in different time zones, but I guess you know. So it's, we will use this opportunity to all connect together and be together as members of the new group. Thank you. Our next webinar will be in Aries, Aries Solar Festival, and it will be on April 12th. It will be with Martin Buick from the United States. And the topic of our focused meditation will be the reappearance of Christ as the world's server. Thank you very much. Thank you, everybody. We'll stay connected on subject until plans. we meet again. Until we meet meet again, yes. Until we meet again. Ahoy, ahoy. Mm -hmm.